So if you were unsure if the What If Marvel animated series had anything to do with Phase 4 of, you know, MCU, well, I think Loki might have just spilled a couple beans. What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Ooze, back in once again with another Marvel uh, news report, or I don't, I don't really want to call it that, but, you know, we're, we're definitely talking some Marvel Cinematic Universe, of course, as we have been in the last couple of videos. And uh, let me know if you guys do uh, like these videos because I, I definitely like reporting on this because it's fun to talk about Marvel whenever I do get a chance to do it. So thanks again if you are enjoying it. And uh, hopefully if you're new to the channel, hitting that like and the subscribe button like all of the other e great Uchi Gang fans, right? So without further ado, as the title would say, of course, this comes from the direct.com, which is a great source in talking about all things Marvel Cinematic Universe and whatnot. We got direct quotes from actors, direct quotes from uh, production folks, even the president himself, Kevin Feige. So it says here, Loki star Tom Hiddleston teases how the MCU's future relies on Disney Plus's What If. Hmm. About to read this entire thing, and then we will definitely discuss this. So it's been a while since fans have been as riled up about something Marvel has the, has as they are about, about the upcoming finale of Loki. The Falcon and the Winter Soldier was exciting for sure, but honestly, it feels like there hasn't been this much talk and mystery since the WandaVision days. I definitely agree with that one 100%. Just because with WandaVision, there was a lot of craziness going on with what she was doing, how she was doing it, and then the, I don't know, the direct tease or just drop of Quicksilver being reprised by the Fox Quicksilver. So that was, again, another variant. So that's... Let's just let me just digress a little bit and just bring it bring the excitement down. Let's continue reading this. Loki is a show practically gushing with mystery. From day one, fans had plenty of questions about everything going on in the show. So of course, Tom Hiddleston had to make at least one more appearance in the media to promote the show's finale. While there was plenty of talk about Loki, the chatter took a pleasant turn to another upcoming Disney Plus show called What If. This series is an animated Marvel Studios venture set within the MCU. So there you go. If you weren't sure already, I've already confirmed this in the la in the What If reaction. So go check that out if you haven't already. That that the What If show does have precedence and takes place within the MCU that explores the potential stories that would come out of specific events in past Marvel movies going in a in an entirely different direction. While Tom Hiddleston hasn't fully seen the show, he still has some intriguing things to say to fans. So he recently visited Jimmy Fallon for an interview to talk about everything Loki ahead of the impending finale. Of course, Jimmy Fallon had to ask if Hiddleston could tease anything about the finale. When the conversation turned to Marvel's upcoming animated show, What If, Hiddleston exclaimed that he hasn't seen the whole thing. And he goes on to say, But I am intrigued because I haven't seen the whole thing. And I know they've got, like, everybody from the Marvel Universe to voice their characters. And Jeffrey Wright, he is playing this character called The Watcher, who is sort of an observer for all of these sort of things. Hiddleston went on to tease one more exciting thing, mentioning that the show sets up a bunch of stuff in the MCU. And then it sets up a bunch of stuff in the MCU, which I, of course, know nothing about, dot, dot, dot. With Loki set to finish its first season quite soon, fans have all their attention set to its finishing out, where, of course, it's hard not to. When the finale is set to potentially finally show viewers Kang the Conqueror for the first time. Potentially. That's a big potential. I, I feel like it's loki you know because that's kind of like the theme of the show but you know i i have i have heard this rumor i have had conversations that it could be kang so we'll see but after that and the dust settles it's time for what if to finally shine with all the ideas and concepts that the show is set to explore there's a solid chance that discussion around the show could hit the same highs as fans currently have with loki possibly even higher especially if the show is setting up stuff for the future of the mcu so the fact that tom hiddleston did tease you know a little bit all right it's not that much i mean he he only pretty much just said that it sets up a bunch of stuff in the mcu which of course he knows nothing about right naturally he already confirmed they didn't see too much of it but you know we can assume that he definitely saw just enough to even say that much i mean you'd have to figure his character is in the show so you figure he's read the script you figure he if he hasn't seen it animated he's at least read it okay and obviously i feel like that we should 
definitely be paying attention to what if now if you're watching this and maybe you've only seen the trailer of what if and you're you're wondering to yourself like oh is this even gonna be canon is this gonna is this gonna matter or is this just gonna be a bunch of what if scenarios what if this what if that and naturally yes it is gonna be a lot of what if this what if that but the key to this the, the what makes this way more important is that it plays into the mcu overall so who's to say that it doesn't set up things. I mean, he kind of just said it right there and it sets up a bunch of stuff. There's a bunch of stuff, okay? There's a bunch of things that we could be gearing up towards that this could literally kind of just drop for us before we actually see it happen in real time in the other TV shows that are coming, in the other movies that are coming. I mean, there's literally so much that's closing out the rest of this year. From, from the top of my head, we have, obviously, what if we have the Hawkeye show? We have miss marvel's show we have shang chi we have spider-man and then i'm pretty i'm not sure if the eternals is finishing the year up with all the marvel stuff but i mean dude i needed two hands just to just to count off all the things that's happening within the mcu so i would keep my eyes peeled I would definitely be watching What If. If you were one of those people that were just kind of on the fence and were probably going to pass up on it, maybe you didn't like the animation style, maybe you did, but you didn't really feel like this was going to matter, I'm telling you right now, please, please, please do yourself a favor and pay attention to What If. If, if, if I've learned anything from the Marvel Cinematic Universe, I've learned that every single bit that they've ever done has been quality, okay? You, there's always a takeaway. There's always something to look forward to, and they definitely give you reason to care. So Loki set up a lot of stuff in and of itself. I feel like going from Loki to what if is a great transition just because we've seen a lot of scenarios and situations that we never even imagined, and I'm pretty sure that's only going to continue in what if so that's enough out of me i want you guys to comment below your thoughts on the recent comments made by tom hiddleston of course the actor who has been playing loki one of the one of my favorite characters in the mcu of course make sure you guys are taking care of yourselves may the power take keep it locked loaded right here on this channel make sure you guys are liking sharing subscribing of course please as it does help the channel and you know getting more conversations going and flowing keep it locked loaded right here on this channel stay safe stay clean stay inside may the power protect you i will see you guys next time